friends, welcome back to my channel. Sassy here. I'm here to do a review of Killing Eve. Another great episode. So, let's get into it. First, I want to talk about Nico and Eve. As y'all know, last week, um, V. Valenel told Nico everything about the stabbing, how Eve has stabbed her, how what, what all that went down. So, Eve is at home. <clears throat> Nico shows up, you know, all wet, mad, angry. And so he was like, she came to visit me. And so Eve is like, you know, who is she? He was like, you know who? Okay. Valinelle, she told me everything. She told me that you stabbed her. And so Eve, of course, you know, <clears throat> she tried to lie at first. And she was like, you know she's a liar. You know you can't believe her. He was like, don't lie to me. Okay. Do not lie to me. I asked you when you came back, is there anything you need to tell me? And you lied to me. Of course, Eve, you know, she's panicked. She did not know what to do, what to say. She's calling this lie. And she was like, I did not want you to give it. He was like, don't, I don't want to hear it. Okay. Nico got him some balls. Nico slams her up against the wall. And he was like, what do you want me to do? Okay, do you want me to love you or do you want me to be frightened of you? What, what do you, do you want to love me or do you want to be frightened of me or vice versa? Eve, she's sliding down, you know, the wall. And uh, he was like, get upstairs. So she's like looking and then she slowly crawls, you know, away. Well, who's looking outside? Through the window. Honey V, Valinelle is looking and enjoying, but a little bit, she's like, okay, they're about to get busy. I'm a little pissed off at that, but it's kind of, you know, turning me on, because if you think about it, Valinelle is the reason why. Valinelle is the reason why Eve is about to get her back broke, okay, because it turned Nico and Eve on, okay, that turned them on. So they go upstairs. I'm sure they, you know, had mad, passionate love. So the next morning, you know, Eve is, is downstairs and she's all happy. You know, she, she got some good loving. And so Nico, he comes in and she was like, oh, you know, good morning. And um, he was like, no, okay, I'm pissed. I'm still mad. She was like, what? She was like, I, I thought that you liked what happened last night. He said it was great. He said, that's the problem. He said, I loved it. I loved everything about it. He said, but, he said, I can't be here with you. And she was like, what? She was like, don't leave me alone. He was like, no, I've had enough. I'm leaving. So, he leaves. Of course, Eve is upset about it. You know, Eve is lonely. Eve don't know what she's feeling. You know, she loves him, but also there's this strange, odd attraction to Valinelle. So anyway, so she has him a little gift, and she goes to his work, and he's sitting there. And who comes up to him? Honey, the harlot Gemma. Okay, they're talking, and Gemma is the girl who was up front and outright flirt with him in front of Eve. So... They stand up and they give each other a hug and Eve is just, oh my God, Eve is like, you, you got to be kidding me. Okay, so later on, Eve shows up at this house. She knocks. Nico comes out and he's like, what are you doing here? How do you know where I'm at? And she was like, well, I called the school and they told me I just wanted to bring over some of your stuff. So he was like, I could have picked it up. And she was like, well, it was on my way. So who comes out? The harlot, Gemma. And she was like, oh, hey, Eve. Hey, Eve. Hey, girl. How you doing? <laughs> Eve was like, oh, so, so all this, okay, you could have chose anywhere to stay. I mean, I was like, Nico, you could have picked a hotel. A bed and breakfast, uh, a Airbnb, your mamas, your daddies, your grandparents, your cousins, one, two, three, and four, a male colleague. But in all of the places, in all of the lands, you chose to haul it gemmas to lay your head. Okay. All right. I get it. All right. All right. So, Gemma was like, oh, hey, do you want, you want a couple? You want, you want a cup of drink? And so he was like, I don't know. Eve said, 
said, I sure do. <laughs> Eve said, I got time today. So, of course, Eve goes in. And it was awkward. Of course, it's going to be awkward. I mean, just, you know, a couple of days ago, you know, they were making hot, sweet love. And now he's, he's here, you know, with a, a woman who obviously wants him, who's obviously attracted to him. So. It's awkward, it's weird, so Eva's like, can I borrow your, can I, um, I need to go to the restroom. So she tells her where the restroom is, and of course Eve goes into Gemma's bedroom. Now let me tell y'all something. Gemma has a PhD, okay, a teacher. Why does her room look like a 13-year-old girl? has got them strings hanging up, um, heart things, and just, just, it looks immature. It looks childish. It looks juvenile. So, Eve is looking all around, and there was this uh, music box, but also has, like, some other things in it. Eve broke off the little ballerina. Then Eve opened up the drawer, and all her bras are so coordinated, laid out so perfectly, and Eve just went, la 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 <laughs> Honey, Eve is frustrated, mad, jealous, and angry. So, of course, the harlot Gemma comes in and she was like, Eve, what are you doing? And so Eve was like, you know what I'm doing. She was like, do you know who you're, you know, I'm not saying per se, but she was, Eve was just like, look, girl, do you know who you're dealing with? Okay, now maybe two, three years ago, I wouldn't have even bother coming up in here tearing up your shit. But right here, right now, right here, right now, we can go toe to toe. Okay, what's up? So, here she is, the Harley Gemma. Nico! <laughs> so, Nico comes in and was like, what's going on? What's going on? And Nico was like, you got to go, Eve. Okay. How dare you? Okay. She's a friend. All right, I'm sleeping on her couch to get away from you. You know, friends, you know all about friends, don't you? And see, that was a dig at Valenelle. And so Eve was like, oh, okay. Eve was like, all right. So Eve looked at her and said, well, I hope you like the missionary style. And honey, that harlot said, I sure do. <laughs> honey, Eve should have headbutted them. Okay, both of them. All right, so... Nico is upset. Nico done grew some balls. So he's there with that Hall of Gemma. Now this is my thing now. They showed the preview next week. And honey, Nico is all beat up and battered. Okay. Did the Hall of Gemma turn into a fatal attraction? Or was that Valinelle? Or was that someone else? Who done beat up Nico? So anyway. That's Nico and Nico. Now let's get back to the main story. Alright. So as we know. Um, Mr. Peel died, and Aaron Peel was so the one. his son was the one to put out the hit to kill his father. So of course, MI Six is trying to figure out um, how they're going to get Aaron Peel. So Eve meets up with um, the HBIC Carolyn, and let me let's let's just go back a little bit. How about Carolyn had that big black dude up in her kitchen? Child, I was like Carolyn. about the journalist who goes in to talk to um, Aaron Peel. Well, inside his bag, he had a camera, you know, secretly recording their conversation. Well, Aaron Peel is a very smart young man, okay? You can't put one over on him. So he finds out that the journalist was secretly recording him, and honey, that journalist ended up dead. So he was like, what are we going to do? And so Carol was like, well, we're we going to have to think of something. We're going to have to be more clever then Aaron Peel, and it's going to take someone with that state of mind. Well, who do you think they, they picked? Eve immediately thought of Valinelle. So, she meets up with Valinelle, and she was like, listen, I need your help once again. And, of course, Valinelle, being the 
smart ass that she is, the one that I love. She was like, okay, well, what, 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 what's going on? So they laid it down for her. They was like, listen, it's Aaron Peel. He has an alcoholic sister. But in order for us to get to him, we need for someone to get to the sister to get to him. Because, you know, the sister, she's flaky. She's not as smart. She's an alcoholic. Her guard would be down. And so, Valinelle, she was like, well, okay, okay, okay. So, Valinelle start doing these different accents. And she picked this um, New Yorker, you know, named Billy. And so, she's going to go to the um, AA meetings where um, the flaky sister will be. So, of course, Valinelle shows up gay face on and she tells her story so everybody in the AA meeting was like girl we're not here for a pity party okay we've all been through things we are alcoholics we have done things that was immoral indecent and there's no reason for you to come up in here with this pity party ain't nobody feeling sorry for you you chose to do that stuff and so Valenel was like oh what what now while she's doing all this while she's talking Eve is listening in because she has a, um, Valinelle has an ear piece in her ear. So, Valin, um, so Eve is hearing all this. Valinelle is talking. And when Valinelle's talking, she's telling Eve's story about, you know, Eve and her and Nico and, um, how she has stabbed, um, Valinelle and how her partner got killed. And so, of course, Eve is feeling furious about this. Well, so, of course, you know, she got to talking with the flaky sister was leaving the AA meeting. There was this guy there, and uh, they were hugging, you know, just talking. And all of a sudden, Valinelle pushes this man into a bus. <laughs> just out the blue. Just to show Eve who she's dealing with. Okay? Valinelle is not here for any games. Valinelle wants you to know who she is, and she will kill whoever she wants to, and nothing will be done about it. I mean, she literally pushes this young man who has done nothing right in front of a bus. Honey, Eve was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, now, since, you know, Valinelle took on this whole new persona named, you know, female named Billy from New York, you know, they had to give her a fake background, you know, a whole new, you know, social media, a whole new, you know, resume because, you know, um, Aaron Peel was going to do background search on this girl because that's how he is. He trusts no one. He's crazy. He's not going to trust anybody. So... Eve had Hugo uh, make up this fake thing about Billy, a.k.a. Valinelle, um, that she, you know, has two um, degrees, um, that she has a degree in philosophy, all this bunch of crap. So, at the AA meeting, Valinelle is talking to the flaky sister. The flaky sister invited her over, you know, for dinner. And so, of course, Valinelle goes. So, there's Valinelle. The flaky sister and Aaron Peel. They're at dinner. Inside of a van, there's Eve and there's Constantine. So, you know, Valinelle has that earpiece in her ear and she is, um, you know, when Eve would say something, you know, she, she'll be able to hear it. And, of course, Eve and Constantine has her mic'd up. So, Aaron Peel is, is just drilling her, you know. Where do you work? What do you do? You know, because of course he's cautious. He ain't trusting this. Not one bit is he trusting this. And he's having snide comments about Valinelle, about, you know, her internship. And so he does not trust her one bit. So Valinelle, she gets up and she takes the earpiece out. Now, it's later on in the evening, and they're sitting around, and of course, Aaron Peel being the obnoxious, you know, mean-spirited, smart-ass boy he is, he starts, you know, asking her questions about her education and how she got a degree in philosophy, and he started doing quotes, and he was like, you know what that means, don't you? You know what that means? And so, <clears throat> Valinelle is just sitting there, so Eve is panicked. And Eve is like telling her what to say, but of course, 
Valinelle can't hear it because she took out the earpiece. And Constantine was like, child, she done took that earpiece out, child. She can't hear nothing you got to say. He was like, crap. You know, what, what are we going to do? And so, Valinelle had enough of Mr. Aaron Peel, honey. She had enough. And, honey, she hit him upside his face and busted his nose, honey. <laughs> honey, she busted his nose open. So, he's like, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. So, Valinelle, she gets up and, you know, she, she walks out. And so, Eve is like, that's it. Okay, that's it. It's a wrap. That's all we got. And so, Constantine was like, you know what? Have you ever thought that maybe that's what Aaron Peel likes? Maybe that's what he's into? No one has ever stood up to him, okay? He wants people to fear him. He wants people to be intimidated by him. Here is a young girl who done busted him in the face. Let's see how this plays out. So, Valinelle, she goes to a local, um, I guess like a local restaurant, and she's there. And they cook the meat on a stick that goes around and bastes this stuff that looks delicious. And I think he said it was lamb because Valinelle was very intrigued by this. And she was like, what is that? So he was telling her, she was like, does that cook anything? And he was like, yeah, any type of meat, it will cook anything. She said anything. That will cook anything. And so he was like, yeah, it will cook anything. And there was two young girls sitting there. <clears throat> So the two girls leave, Valinelle is following them, and of course, you know, it's the dead of night, and they're scared, and so here comes Valinelle around the corner, and they was like, oh my God, you know, you shouldn't walk by yourself, you know, so I think someone was behind us, you know, come with us, and so Valinelle was, was enjoying that. So, I'm going to need for y'all to tell me, okay? What does Valinelle, what's she going to do with Mr. Aaron P? What's she going to do? Or whoever. Is she going to baste them like a turkey? <laughs> Honey, is she going to put that meat on the stick? What is she, why was she so fascinated? Child, she is going to burn somebody up and baste them like a turkey. And what is the deal with the two young girls? She going to kill them? She going to use them? What's going to happen with that, y'all? Anyway. Another great episode. I think there's two episodes left. Um, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know how the relationship is going to pan out between um, Eve and Valinelle. Do you think they're going to sleep together? Girl, let's be honest. Let's be honest. We all know. I think they're going to sleep together. So, But anyway... Um, until next time, friends, bye.